Joining me here today is Mrs. Chloe. Hello. Hello. Um, and just to introduce yourself to anybody that's listening, um, what are you studying here at GU? Yeah, yeah. So I am currently studying both worship arts and uh, the music industry studies program, and I'm focused more in like the performance artist sector of the music industry. Um, I learn a little bit about everything, but that's where I'm at. And then I have also been, um, I've also worked in residence life at Greenville for several years. And so this year uh, I have been an assistant director for two buildings. And so that's been a little bit chaotic of, you know, being a student and then having a job where I'm in charge of other students is always a little sticky, but right. mostly fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I'm a part of different bands and performances and our uh, like worship music ministry as well. Yeah, that's awesome. So mm -hmm. speaking of shows, uh, what shows have you been a part of this semester? Um, so I had my senior concert this semester, which is kind of the capstone as an artist. Um, as I'm graduating, it's, yeah, it's a capstone. It's the biggest show that I've done. And I basically build it from the ground up, select my sound reinforcement, select who is going to be playing in it, put together the songs, the set list, chord charts. Like, I have to build it from the ground up. And so that's kind of the biggest project and biggest show I've been a part of is my own. And then um, I've also performed in the Black Room a couple times this semester. And the Black Room is kind of our, like club venue almost like it's yeah. a smaller cafe club kind of a setting mm -hmm. um, and so we have shows weekly um, so I've performed for a few of those um, we took the music department took a big group of students down to Nashville as well this semester we just got back um, this week actually and so there was some selected artists and groups and performances that were asked slash invited to perform there and so I did that which was really fun learned a lot it was stressful but like also <laughs> good stress I yeah. think yeah um and then let's see what else we have midnight breakfast which is our big like campus-wide end of year event I'm super excited yeah we have an interesting set that one honestly I think that's gonna be one of the more challenging ones I've done this semester yeah. because I'm doing music that I would normally not pick. <laughs> yeah. So I did one of the songs like in classes on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm in a class where we as artists take turns performing for one another. And so today I performed one of the songs for my classmates and my professor to get critiques before the show on Friday. And I did. We're doing Juice by Lizzo. Okay. Very much not my style. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it'll be interesting, but yeah, so perform for that and yeah, other various shows, you know, there's ones happening mm -hmm. all the time. So, and that's going to be one of your last shows for mm -hmm. pretty much your entire GU career as a student because yeah. you're yeah. a senior. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's going to be really fun. I feel emotional in our rehearsals for sure. Yeah. Like, okay, this is the last thing, you know, each thing that like, it's the last thing that happens. I'm like, Oh my goodness, this is the last time I'm doing this. So right. like my last Vesper is a few weeks ago. Wow. That one I think has been the hardest Yeah. to say like, oh, this is the last time I'm doing this thing with my team as mm. a senior. This is really hard. But yeah. Yeah. Wow. So if you had a chance to perform anywhere in the world besides, you know, the Black Room, the Recital <laughs> Hall, some of the shows that or venues that we have here at on GU campus, where mm. would you go? Where would you go? Um, so I'm trying to remember where it is. I think it's somewhere in Arizona. There's like an outdoor amphitheater that's like all red rocks. Wow. I think it's okay. called like red rocks or something. I don't know. Yeah, I actually, I think I've heard of that. It it's, like just looks so cool. Yeah. It's like this huge cavern yeah. cave-ish Yeah. And so and like just so many seats and like this huge like auditorium. 
esque yeah. thing, but it's outside, right? Yeah. So it yeah. like the very top rim is like the widest part of the amphitheater, and then it like goes down into like a valley kind That's of. Awesome. And so then the stage is like in the valley. Yeah. I don't know. I just think that would be a really cool space. That like, would be awesome. Acoustically, yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. just very different. Yeah. Um, that would be awesome. Yeah. So um, you've been a part of a lot of the shows here. And I mean, where would you want to go beyond GU and perform? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, everywhere. Everywhere? Like, is that your like your I mean, dream job that is would just be to my perform? Dream. Yeah. Nice. To like be a performer who gets to tell stories mm. for people is kind of my dream. Yeah. Um, as an artist, you can pursue that your whole life and you might not ever get there. And so mm. there's a sense of reality of like, okay, I have backup plans. Um, but I'm always, at least right now, my plan is to continue always pursuing that and always be performing and writing and hopefully recording. Um, but the um, ultimate dream is to be a, tr- like be an artist who is known, who touches people's hearts and changes their lives. Um, and not even like because I'm so great of a musician or a writer, but because I'm telling a story or sharing an experience that an audience can connect to. And mm-hmm. that like I say something and it resonates in their soul. Yeah. Um, Cause that's what music did for me. And so I want to turn that around and like yeah. travel and meet people and learn their stories and turn it into music because right. Bob, I don't know who Bob is, but yeah, like Bob has a story and I learn about it and then I go to a totally different country and meet Steven. Yeah. And Steven connects to that story because they had something in common or Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So being able to travel and perform and have people listen to songs because it's important to them, mm-hmm. like that's that's my dream. It's yeah. just to care for people through music. That's awesome. That's so good. And so where can people listen to your music? Like where can they find you mm-hmm. and and see all of the shows that you're a part of? Maybe go to your future shows like Midnight Breakfast that's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously Midnight Breakfast is going to be on the Greenville campus. Yeah. Um, I have an Instagram. And so I like to promote stuff on there usually. And so my awesome. Instagram handle is my first name, Chloe.Marie.Music. Um, and so that's my Insta handle. And then I'm also on Spotify and Apple Music and other streaming platforms under the name Clo, which is C-H-L-O. Um, I have two songs out right now. And then in about three weeks, yeah, three weeks, um, I'm dropping a record that will have, I think, four studio fully produced songs and then also a couple demos on it. Of that's like, awesome. Here's the idea. It's going to still grow, but you're getting a sneak peek of what it will eventually be. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's so good. Well, thank you for joining me today and sharing a little bit of your story and like what you're all about. Mm-hmm. Um, if anybody's interested, we'll have links down below in the description of her Instagram handle and where you can go to find her music. Um, thank you for joining us today and and we'll catch you on the next time. See ya.